Thank you, Mr. Chair. I will be supporting Councillor Bernardetti's and Councillor Cho's motions. I will not support any other motions. I think Councillor Lee's motion, well intentioned, but it leaves a uh, large gap, um, an opportunity for a loophole. Um, Mr. Chair, uh, I, um, I have great difficulty um, with this debate because, you know, we're focusing on, on sharks today. But as Canadians, we've done a terrible job uh, in our own country. We've made extinct nine species. We've ex what's the word here? Extubulated, extubated. I don't know. Eleven, eleven species. We have 55 endangered species. We've got 62 threatened species. And we have 119 vulnerable species. If you look at, uh, just checking with Councillor um, Carroll here in Hong Kong, they've got uh, protection for insects, amphibians, testudines, whatever that is, birds, all wild birds, uh, a number of mammals, and plants. That's in Hong Kong, part of China. So when I look at this and I say to myself, we went from 100% of sharks and we're down by 90% to 10%. I think that's cause for alarm. And it's cause for alarm because I think, you know, while we're the supposedly the, the higher species, we don't have any right to make other species extinct simply because we're humans. I had a town hall meeting about a week ago, and this topic came up at that town hall meeting. And what I basically said is, I would rather win an election doing the right thing than lose an election doing the wrong thing. What's before us is sharks, but I think, I think the debate for all of us is that we have to take more care of our environment. And, you know, if, if it's a question, I asked a question uh, from an email that I got, and I asked this question, is having shark fin soup more important than saving the species? And if the answer is yes, that it's more important to have shark fin soup, then I think we got a, a much bigger problem. Because it's quite easy for me uh, if, you know, there's all kinds of soups. I think there's probably about, a, I don't know, hundreds of types of soups. So what we're being asked to do here is, you know, we've used the word citizens of the world. Um, I just want to talk human being. Our generation and the generations before my generation, we had, we had passenger pigeons that were in the millions, in the millions. And they got extinct around 1917. The last bird died in, in captivity. That was the only place that you could see it. They used to ride on the railroad and used to shoot at bisons who didn't know what human beings were. They just, and they shot them. And then they figured that they can take their pelt and just leave the rest of the body, which fed, which fed people. They just shot them for money and nothing else. I mean, why do we take great strides when we saw the cod industry going south? We said that we had to have a moratorium. So, you know, imagine on those species that are supposedly protected and they're still being poached upon. And here we're being asked again to take pause. You know, take pause, allow the stocks to come up. I mean, we've interfered by having fish farms. We have a problem with salmon. So now we got fish farms in order to farm the fish rather than have the fish in the natural state. We do all kinds of things to supposedly protect. I haven't read any document that says that we have somewhere where we're introducing more sharks into the environment. We're not doing that. It's very easy for me, very easy for me. I think this is very indicative of the kind of world we want or should have, or it's the kind of world where all we think about is ourselves only, which is doomed to failure. So I would ask you, you know what? I agree with my colleagues, better to test a law, even if it's a bad law, than to just do nothing at all. I think that's wrong. So I'm going to be supporting the ban, but I will not be supporting those other two motions.
Thank you. Thank you.